from Kay Diamond Paints, and I have a whip and wine tonight for you. Or not tonight, morning. Whenever you're watching this, I have a whip and wine for you. It's not a whip wine and what? It's a whip and wine. So I'm back working on my GBFKE, you guys, after, I don't know, it seems like six months, but um, I don't think it's been that long because we had to get through drills and chills so I could get back to this. This is the Mandala Rocks. I'll put the image up on the screen for you so you can see it. So pretty. I love this. So I want to get a GBFK done for you guys so I can give you my opinion. Um, so let's take our, take our wine. And I'll put that to the side so I don't dump it all over everything. And then they've sent me these pens too. I'm going to try out two pens while we're working on this. And we'll see how those go. So this one, although I love how it feels in my hand, I'm a little bit skeptical because I'm a multi-placing addict. So I can do a, only do a single placer on this. So we'll see how it goes. And then what else? Yeah, so let's just try it and, and see. So hopefully I can finish this, oh, I don't know when. Next week maybe? So we can get a um, post review for you guys because I know a couple have been waiting there like in the comments and, and things have been messaging me saying, uh, how is GBFK? And I'm like, well, it looks spectacular and so far it's good, but I can't give you a full opinion yet. So I need to hurry up so I can give you guys a full opinion. But I've done a few colors so far and so far I like it. So great. And this is really comfortable. Actually, but you just have to... Like I just was holding it with it back. That's not comfortable. But out like this, we're good. See that part right there. There we go. I just have to hold it right. I need the pens wider. Otherwise, my hands cramp up. That's why I thought I might like this little guy. He's so little though, right? He's so short and squat. Just like me. We were made for each other. We're twinning. I thought I'd tell you a story you know, there was sad news last week in that um, Alex Trebek passed away, right? The host of Jeopardy. He was the host, you guys, for 37 years since I think it was, what did it say, 1984 or something like that? Um, and then he filmed his last Jeopardy only 11 days before he passed away. So they said he has Jeopardies stored up until December, like December 26th or something. So we're still going to be seeing him on the screen. That's just incredible to me that you can film and function a show. And then 11 days later, that's, oh, that's amazing. But yeah, it was sad, right? But instead of a sad story, I have a hilarious Jeopardy story to tell you. So from me saying that, I bet you like, oh my gosh, Kim, were you on Jeopardy? And the answer is no, I wasn't on Jeopardy. Are you guys kidding me? No, I wasn't on Jeopardy. And I'm not even actually in this story. And it's not really about Alex Trebek. But it is about Jeopardy. So here we go with my funny Jeopardy story. So this happened in my family. This is a story about my parents and my sister. When she was little, I mean, I really believe that she was in grade school still. And this happened. I don't know anything about this story. I only know it secondhand. And the reason I got it secondhand was through like annoyed, angry people and one very scared sister. <laughs> she was in trouble. How do you get in trouble over Jeopardy, you ask? I'm so glad you asked me that question. So we, um, I'm older than my sister. So I would pick her up. I would bring her home at the end of the school day, right? And I would watch her in the house and everything but she came home we came home before my parents what I found out was my parents like a lot of parents watch Jeopardy at the end of the at the end of the day and my dad is great at Jeopardy my dad has just this huge wealth of knowledge and on a wide variety of topics and so he was great at Jeopardy so apparently they're sitting there one night and um you know, answering questions and guessing and everything like that. And my sister strolls into the room and answers the question. And both my parents were shocked. And as she sits down with them, she continues to answer some of these questions. 
this is not grade school stuff most of the time, right, you guys? So they were really impressed with her. Apparently, this went on, I don't know, for a couple of nights with my sister showing up and answering some of these questions. So my parents made it um, a game for her. It's already a game. I understand that. A game for her personally. That um, I think it was questions, just regular questions that she answered. She would get a dime and she would get um, a quarter for double jeopardy. And I don't remember what she got, but maybe 50 cents for the final jeopardy. But it was staggered, right? So now she had monetary reasons to be in on this game. I'm not quite sure how long this went on for, but it went on for a little bit. My sister probably had dreams of retiring early from kindergarten and, um, you know, from grade school and skipping college and, you know, moving to Costa Rica. And then <laughs> it all hit the fan, as they say. Turns out when she came home from school early, Jeopardy was on TV. Apparently, Jeopardy played twice in the same day, same episode. So she would come home from school, watch Jeopardy, memorize all the answers. And then when my parents came home that night, she knew. <laughs> so I, although think that she should have been paid more for her grift that she pulled on my parents. You want to be a grifter? <laughs> That's so impressive <laughs> and they were I, they were just a little annoyed. I just that is the best to be hoodwinked by a little sixth grader <laughs> go sister of mine so yeah that's my great jeopardy story you guys that fun I know she's and I thought I was the sly one. No way. She beat me. I didn't think of a way to come out with money out of them. That's my Jeopardy story. So now that I've been using this pen, I do like it. This little thing, though, when it spins, it's hurting my hand a little bit. But you just have to hold it right. Oh, even that is good. Oh. Maybe if I put my finger up. Is that better? I hope I've been doing this color right. For the love of Pete, I hope it's M because... It's not, I'm not taking them off if it's not. Perfect. So should we try the other pen? Look at the other pen that they sent me. I have two of these actually. I have this one and then this one. This one's like a five placer. You can't really do a five placer on this. So we're going to try the single placer and has this switch on the side. You have a pen with a switch on the side. Oh, oh this is the one I, there it is. It's on. I um I unscrewed this one before. I thought <laughs> I thought that's how you did it. Anyway, never mind. So let's see. You know, it's not dark enough yet to set, to see if this light would really help. But you know what is great is this is very comfortable. I know it seems like maybe it wouldn't be because it's kind of squared off, but this is very comfortable. Again, this is a single placer, but. Like for stuff that I'm doing right now, I can't do a multi-placer anyway. I could be doing maybe two placing, stuff like that. So, oh, this one is comfy. I like the little winky wink. See, it's like a baby doll. This one's pretty good. I might like this one better than the, the other one maybe. Has anybody used these before, these little fat ones? Did you take this off? I don't know. I'll have to try it some more with my finger up there. But I wanted to switch because I want to try this one. I have just recently, I've been using just the standard pink pens for the longest time. And here. Oh, my reach. So I put two grips. Oh, I took, sorry. I took the four placer off this and I put it on what? I put it on something else. But so when I flip it, I have grips on either side. So I've just been using these pink pens, these grips I've gotten at the dollar store. So super cheap, but um, I've had a chance to use different pens lately. And what I've found is that if your hand starts cramping or it starts getting uncomfortable for you, just switch pens, you know? So switch it to this pen and then switch back 
it just needs to be a different grip you know you just have to hold it in a different way so just having those grips on it isn't enough I mean if you're gonna really sit down and do some diamond painting right so yeah now that I have my finger on this this is much better but I still think well I don't know now when I put my finger on this this is pretty comfy too Oh, I like both of these pens. They're so short. That's what, they're so stubby that um, I just couldn't figure out if I would like doing this or not. But actually, it fits right in my finger, fits right on here nicely. So yay. Now I can say these are nice pens. I can't say yet if you need the flashlight or not. I think it needs to be darker. Oops, come on now, don't give up on me yet. Oh, we're past the 1111 um, 11 sale on AliExpress. Did anybody buy stuff? I bought a couple of things, you guys. I bought um, another custom. Shocker, is everybody shocked? Kim, no, not you, see it isn't so, I know. I bought another custom and then I bought some, what did I buy? Did I buy any diamond painting? Yeah, I bought a couple of accessories, so as soon as that stuff comes in, but um, it's going to take a hot minute because after 11.11, they are swamped. I learned this from last year. 11.11 stuff came in way late. That's fine. I'm not in a hurry. I've got this one to do, this GBFKE to do. I have that um, other, uh, what was the other company? Craftsy Art. Craftsy Art sent me one. Um to do DIY painting art I have that um, that custom to do so I have a couple of things on my plate so they can they asked me um, if I could extend the shipping time and I said yeah go ahead because I'm not getting to that anytime soon hey, so yeah I like these pens this painting I can't wait to do this painting and then they gave me one did you guys see it they gave me this mandala in, um, this mandala rocks in a special shapes. And it has a ton of marquee. Like where all is dark it, or all in here on the rocks, it's all these marquee gems. So I think I might do that one as well. That is so pretty. I said sometimes you do diamond paintings that are going to be framed and put up and everything. Sometimes you just do diamond paintings that just are pretty and fun and you just want to do it right like the cow one I just got did you guys see the cow one from GBFKE oh, oh my goodness that cow I see now like that cow I just I highly doubt that cow is ever going to be put on my wall but it is too cute to stare at so yay I'm not sure how long we're on this I just wanted to come on and show you my different pens see how they worked and um Talk about my Jeopardy story because I just thought that was so sad that we lost our Alex Trebek. I already saw that they had names up for people who might replace him. I'm like, can you give the guy a minute? Can you give him his moment to be missed? Goodness, we have to go that fast. You know, I guess you do. I guess you do. Not me, though. I can't imagine watching Jeopardy without Alex Trebek. I like him too much. But didn't he always just act like he knew everything, right? I knew that. Like, it's his own breadth of knowledge he's answering these questions from. I'm like, Alex, come on, man. Nobody knows that much about everything. Yeah, just his, like his attitude. No, that, you know, no, that's not correct. Didn't you know that? Everybody knows that. <laughs> I love that attitude. That was hilarious. Like, did you really know that? I would love to know what percentage of the questions that he asked that he really knew the answer to. So, okay, you guys, it's a short one, a short little whip. I've got another whip coming next week. I've got another unboxing coming next week. I'm trying to keep to my schedule that I had um, for drills and chills with Tuesday and Friday, well, at least Tuesday. Do videos on Tuesday. If I have a Friday one, that would just be a bonus, but because um, two videos a week really takes it out of me. <laughs> it's, a, it's a lot to try and film. And with um, 
COVID, I keep saying, I have people that are working in my house now. So it's not like I just have any old time to do these, to, to film. Um, people are working in my house now. So it's hard to, for me to find time to film. Um, but I am going to try and stick to Tuesdays. I know last Tuesday I didn't make it. Um, what did it come out on you guys? Monday or Wednesday or something like that? Well, I think it was Monday because I had missed the previous Tuesday. Anyway, 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 anyway. Just rambling. I am just rambling. But um, I am going to try and stick to Tuesdays. If you want, um, there's a bell right below right below the description or the title of this video down there off on the right side you'll see a bell um that bell is a notification bell and it will signal you whenever i have a new video up so if you're interested i'm gonna try on tuesdays but if you're interested to say no kim you're not making it i know if you click on that bell it will notify you when i do have a new video up so that might that might be better than me promising Tuesdays, but I am really going to try. I really want to get on a schedule. I think it's going to help everyone. By everyone, I mean me. <laughs> so, all right. And hopefully next time you see this, it'll... No. The next time you see it, it'll probably be another whip. The time after that, I hope you see this, it'll be finished. Because I can't wait to get to the pinks and everything. You see, look, I have all the colors here. Look at these. Look at this pink. Oh my gosh, look at this, what is this, burgundy red color? Look at this green. I mean, this has some really pretty colors in it. So I want to try and get this done so we can all see and give GBFKE a big thumbs up. Because I'm pretty sure that's what I'm going to do. I'm really enjoying this. I can see, like, a couple of these right here, the and sign, um, is a little bit um, worn. But not in any way that I can't, I can say, oh, the and sign is worn. Not, oh, what is this sign? I can't see it. So that's my only critique of it so far. The glue is sticky. The drills are shiny. So, so far, I have no complaints. And for these two little pens, I would say, I'm not sure what this, I'm going to have to use this at night to see. And you know what? This one, this one isn't just not lighting up as well. Look at this one. Let me pull this one out real quick so you can see. So maybe I have to change the batteries in the other one or something, but watch. Oh, there you go. See how much that lights up? I think I just unscrewed this. I have to, I have to mess with this one. I messed this one up, I think. But um, does that, oh yeah, can you see that? Oh yeah, that might, that really might be a help. My eyes are so bad. I have to use a light pad and um, Anything, anything is good for me. Oh, that is pretty cool. Maybe I'll put the singer placer on this one and use it. Anyway, I will link the painting down below for you. I will link all the pens down below for you in case you're interested. This is my light pad. This is an A3 light pad um, that I purchased from Amazon. And this, the best thing about this, you guys, look at this. It's the switches, the on off switch is um, on a switch. <laughs> But it's on the cord, so it's not on the side, you know? And so all of you that are using A4s, you know, when you're just sitting doing your diamond painting, you constantly hit that thing and it constantly turns off. And you have to reach under your diamond painting and turn it on. So I found this one. This is the only one I've found that the the switch is on the cord. So I'll, if it's still available, it went unavailable. It goes out of stock all the time. I will link that down below for you as well, okay? Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I hope you loved my family's funny story. And I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.